trust in leadership, the integrity of data, and the reliability of what we're told by those in power form the very backbone of our political and social conversations. Karine Jean-Pierre's recent comments have stirred up a storm of concern about just how transparent and truthful our government's communication really is. When we push for more accurate and open reporting of crime statistics, it's not just about numbers. It's about our safety, our sense of security, and the fear that our trust in public institutions is slipping away. Now, when the president uh, and the vice president uh, took office, they inherited the biggest increase in the murder rate on record. They went to work immediately, passing the biggest investment in public safety, including historic law enforcement funding through the American Rescue Plan, which every Republicans in Congress voted against. President Biden and Vice President Harris also passed the most significant gun reform law in almost 30 years. And now we're seeing the results of that action. Violent crime has plunged to its lowest ever in almost 50 years. And today, Axios reported new, new preliminary data from major U.S. cities shows that homicides were down during the first full six months of President Biden's last year in office, more than 70 percent in some places compared to the same time of President Trump's Trump's last year. The historic declines in crime mean that America is safer and we remain focused on building on this progress. The claim that violent crime has plummeted to its lowest point in nearly half a century is met with deep skepticism and mistrust. Many are outraged, feeling that Karine Jean-Pierre's words are a blatant attempt to gaslight the public. People believe that the crime statistics coming out of major cities are being twisted or downplayed. The distrust only grows stronger with the idea that data is being cherry-picked or hidden to paint a rosier picture for the current administration. To many, this feels like a deliberate attempt to mask the harsh reality that countless Americans are facing, rising crime and a troubling decline in police presence.